the deep talk with Mr. Henry. It is yet another beautiful Sunday and of course we are back again with your favorite show on your favorite television Galaxy TV Jikonkone and the name of the show is The Deep Talk. Zabam Peter Mr. Henry and I want to welcome you on board if you're watching this for the very first time. Thank you so much. Abali ku YouTube, thank you so much for growing with us uh at the Deep Talk family. Tatu bade okasera kanji kawambu but um the family has really grown. Everyone that shares clips on TikTok, on different social media platforms, thank you so much. And uh, people that reach out to me and tell me, Henry, they tono, they tono. And uh, the guest today, uh, one of you guys, I think that there's a gentleman called Lex uh, from the USA, Agwea uh, Ansaba, to, ha- to have a deep conversation with her. Omugenyu Olna Koralero. is not just an ordinary person. He's a you can describe him in so many ways. I remember when Alimu Senior 2. That should have been 2008. I was in a single school. So, to ina been even to be evaluated again and immortality so many dara and then you mime music, yeah? And uh, one of the songs I did, Rimbare, uh, it was called uh, Ganja Man. Struggling to become somebody, Babylon. Oh, Raga I have Exodus, ladies and gentlemen. Bro, my guy, I'm honored to be here with you. <laughs> hey? you, don't know, you don't know how I'm feeling right now. Ah. You don't know. You don't know how long I've mm. longed and wanted to be on the deep talk. Thank you it's, for making um, time. First of it's all, it's first of yeah. all a very inspiring show. Thank you. Um, it's a show. Mm. that helps shapes mm. the in not just the industry but the lives of people man oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. and uh, me i'm so grateful yes. and uh, to be here with you oh, yeah. is an honor oh, yeah. and i bless god for that man pleasure is all I mine bless god for that thank you for making time i made it your busy schedule now for, for for the people that are watching they know exodus yeah <laughs> <laughs> but they don't know the real names of Exodus. <laughs> Those are Tandi Kirao. Tandi Kireo. Yeah. Uh, my name is uh, George Lubega, Timothy. George Lubega, Timothy. Eh, Nimsajja yeah. Muganda. Oh, yeah. Nimsajja Wangabi. Those are changed. I'm going to do what you're very light skinned <laughs> like you are. I knew, I knew uh, we were about to go there. Yeah. yeah, uh, um, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm half cut. Okay. My dad is. My dad was half mm. cast. I think I'm third generation oh. Italian. Yeah, my dad, uh, my dad's, my grandfather mm. was Italian. Okay. Yeah, and uh, my uh, dad's mom mm. was uh, a Muganda. Okay. That's where he grew from, and, and that's where he was raised. Mm-hmm. And then he um, he got uh, an Acholi oh, woman. Oh <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And uh, my and our mother mm. with uh, my two other siblings. Mm. Yeah, our mother is an Acholi. Oh, okay. Yeah, wow. Uh. So our <laughs> dear brother Rati, I told him that Jaina Manya Goruganda is is very light skin like this. <laughs> that, that's that's the explanation. Yeah, man. Um, how how do you keep looking like this? Fresh looking, nice looking. You don't age a bit. The way Exodus looked like ten years ago <laughs> is the same way you're looking now. Which color, yeah? Uh, I'm a, I'm a health mm. and uh, I'm a health freak. First of all, mm. I watch uh, I watch my diet a lot. Oh yeah, and then uh, I hit the gym every time I get an opportunity. Wow. Every single time I get an opportunity. Mm. Uh, the greatest secret to keeping young yes. is a lot of sweat. A lot of sweat. you have the excretion. Sweat yeah. as much as you can and yeah. uh, eat healthy. Mm. Yeah. Uh, when, when does music start for you now? I think now let's get into the serious oh, yeah. talk. Uh, music for me, mm. uh, you know, uh, as artists, we have this cliche, mm. me from when I was young, uh, mm. I used to love music, yeah. I used to, you know, desire to sing, but mm. uh, music just caught up with me, actually. <laughs> actually. Wow, that's <laughs> after, interesting. After the streets, I never really, really thought mm. I would be in the arts. Never. Never, but I used to have dreams as a child mm. where I would see myself on an elevated platform yeah. with uh, like a multitude mm. that is endless. Yeah. And 
as a as growing up as a child i never knew what that meant mm. until um until probably uh 2004 5 mm. when uh I really really desired to start singing mm. and that 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 is when I joined church. Oh. So I I I desired music mm. watching you know other people do it and yeah. they did it so beautifully. Oh, yeah. You understand? Mm. And then uh being at a place where you know my education background is is really minimal. So uh I looked at it and thought uh, this thing would probably put food on my table. And the uh, music, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. and uh, and help me reach out to as many people as I could. But I never, I never saw myself as a kid sing, never. When you talk about street, that there's people that know the story. Then there's Walu Baba Tamani story. Yeah, 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 true. Uh, and the education of being the education being minimal. Yes. So called to Isemwa. Ah, uh, yeah. na firwa mama wange, yeah. ngani ne miaka kumi. Ah, uh, by the time I was about eight years, yali amazulwa la sirim. Oh. Yes, yeah, so uh, from from like seven ish, me I become a man <laughs> at a yeah. very very tender age. Yeah. So kumiaka musambu, uh, I had to take care of my sick mom, look for food at home, look for her medicine at seven, and then my little brother by then was really really young because uh, he's four years younger than me. So nganino kumono nyezana ya mata. Mm. You understand? So, uh, Mama Wafa at 10 is when I was taken to live with my father. Okay. Uh, and uh, my father was raised Islam. Mm. So, polygamy is okay. It's okay. You know? Yaina Abachala Abawirako. And uh, as you know, in the African setting, uh, stepmothers don't really take uh, mm. kindly children that are not their own most times not yes. all the time yeah. Yeah. most times and mm. uh, unfortunately that is the situation i was in so i was uh, with uh, uh my stepmothers not all of them were bad mm. of course but uh, majorly many were uh lived with them for 2 years and uh, I, I i i never recall a happy moment i never recall a happy moment uh, these two years, I don't know what my father used to be told, but I remember him coming back home drunk in the mornings most times. And out of the blue, he would beat you like he's beating a thief, you know? So uh, one unfortunate morning, preparing myself, you know, to go to school, uh, I think by then I, I was I was probably in P. P, P I was, I was, uh, I think mm. I joined a senior one. Okay. Nenga ne fizi wa kutoba, zenga zene nonye za school fizi. Na somba, na pota kubizi mbe, zenga somba ama zikuchalo, somba kasasiro kuchalo, just to make sure I keep myself in school, you know. I children have a culture. Uh, English and education is very, very important in mm. naturally families. Mm. So, mm. you know, I, I desired to keep the culture, but it was, it was tough. It wasn't easy. Why? Why do you think the stepmothers hated you? Was the w- the way you looked? Was it a threat to their own children? Was it all those achievements? Okay, besides the the normal hate of stepmothers, but there's also a child coming and being a threat to them. I I don't really think they hated me. I tell you, when you saw our dad was not easy, but he was a very very loving man. Mm. You know. Mm. On days that he would be home yeah. and he's sober, he was like the most amazing person. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Yeah. But then when he flips, when he's drunk and he mm. comes home, I, I don't know if, I don't know, I, hate would be really, really a big word oh, because yeah. I, yeah. I, I don't think they really hated us. Mm. You know, but there was something that wasn't always right. Mm. You know, he would come back and se bangambi ete muko lachi ete kutoko lachi no chino 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 you know and then you would uh, you would actually realize that you're uh, sidelined from from the daily things that happen mm. at home because mm. i remember uh, from one of them he used to come back from school nga abana abalala baliwo batoko kunzi you know and uh, they are given enough food but you you're given very little you understand? Mm. And uh, after that, you have to make sure dishes are done. You have to make sure there is water in the house. 
you have to make sure everything is clean or, or which take in, some in, yeah, yeah, in most in most cases you know it was so so tough the last time the james jukira was at my father's house simanche ba mugamba he came back home in the morning about 5:30 muzei yang kuba for like 2 hours what non stop echasingo kunkanga we had a, a, a glass lamp in the house and he got it and smashed it across my face oh god i was wearing a white very big t-shirt like this in very few seconds the t-shirt had turned red you understand so in that moment ningamba okufira mu nyumba ya chitange at least kangende mfire ku lugudo sirina mama mzei wali na yali ngataliwo ate msajja watu yesi munenya because eventually ngamazo kula so many years after ni munonya ni tusisinka na and he told me his own stories how he was raised he was raised so so bitterly so bitterly so he had a lot one of time he love, told yeah. me mm. he was hung up on the tree Ooh. legs up head down and he was beat for like four hours that, for that eating w- food, for eating food that was not given him and he had gone hungry for like two days one of uganda yes <laughs> yes you know so uh When people see you they think you're this guy from a very well off family. No man, I've come from the trenches, bro. <laughs> mm. I came from the trenches. Wow. Everything I know, everything has seen, it has been God and God alone. So cut your vibe work at that day. At 12. Is I was about 11. No, yeah. no, no, I was about 11 something years oh, yeah, when oh, yeah. I video work. Yeah, kuma chiro. So he beat me so bad. Uh, and he slept off when he slept off we had a radio in the house uh the radio ya kosangaga na amanda ga never ready mm. i don't know if a lot of people still would remember that but the older generation mm, would yeah know? yeah so um i was in agony i didn't know what to do in the moment nengamba okusinga okubera ne mukubera ne mzeyi wengalinga ataliwo in this kind of mistreatment i got the radio he was sleeping nenzi jamu amanda ga aliana and i nenga sekura i put it in a bowl nenga nywa i wanted to die ngasimanyi chidako simanyi wa kudda you know nenywa i waited for a moment and it never showed you wanted Wanto, to die yes i tried suicide so many times my whole life my brother so many times nenywa nenga nywa wenga nywa safu na wadolu puto kunuma Mm. A few hours he was sleeping was drunk for him he was sleeping I went uh a separating the, the the house because it, it was one one room really mm. to get separating as a curtain yes I went picked his watch and nothing happened so sawa ziweranga nya au kumacha wenfunire ekirozo ningamba ate ye mukuru wange jali ali ku street a surviving you already you had understand. a brother on yeah, street yeah 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 my my elder brother mm. because uh, from uh, my mom and my dad tulibasat okay and i'm the middle one oh yeah I have an elder brother then me then my little brother mm. ningamba you know what e wanyo wao gen generalaga yona yona katonda ya manyi so nenzi lukewaka ne nyingire ekibuga ne we nyingire ekibuga kyali familia because uh, nabe twabiranga ne mama wafe nga nchama nyi mama ngatenda mm. bakufa ngatubera mukisenya oh, okay. e, ngatubera mukisenya so nga like life yo mm. like we were well, kind of yeah. acquainted with mm. it you, you understand so nga ah, okusinga okubona abone mu nyumba ya mzee kangende ntandi kobula mu bulala ku lugudo mm. and that's how i went on the streets at 12 years almost 12 years Wow. Yeah. And how long were you there? I was on the streets I think for uh, six solid years. <laughs> when when you say the streets waliwo aliye alaptas nunga each fan and touch together bolunji. You're sleeping on the road, you're yes. sleeping in the train. Yes. How was life on the streets? It, it was What? it was it was it was not easy at all. Mm. It was not easy at all. Era bo wazuku kanga ngaweba za katonda. Because at least 
one or two children will be killed on a, on a, on a daily, uh, either by peer or by uh, security agencies or you know wh whatever you understand because in in the in the late 90s early 2000s the streets were deadly mm. they were really really deadly yeah one incident street the first year because i was with other five kids mm. one had come from karamoja mm. uh two had come from masaka and there was one that had come from bududa and another one said you kill but we were six like we mm. Do you remember the street where you were? You... Uh, uh, mu, mu, mu definitely. Mm. Then the Winton Awo, the Winton Road, wali, mm. eh, the Winton Awo, now wali wo, uh, wali wo uh, Then there is also Katwe. Mm. Uh, you understand? Wali mm. Katwe, and uh, mm. you understand? Nga o o o o o o o Wabako. Nganchari kato wendi. Kubanga, wetu tabanga, gatu inakulia kukasasiro. Mm. Na ye, uh, Sheratoneo jidawa, bainanga chi dump star, echi nene awo ku, mm. ku De Winton. Yeah. They had a very big dump star at De Winton. So the days we failed to get the money to, you know, mm. to buy food and whatever, mm. we would just go there and pick whatever. Is thrown. Ah, they say what is sandwich hey, or what hey, chi bani. Okay, okay, you know, you re re prepare and eat that. You understand? And then, me, I remember an incident. One of the little boys, when I sang up street, yeah, you know, Bugatti, Bobidi, buns, two buns. Then uh, one of the bigger boys, Namugamba, Guedogo, Leto Bugatti, Obo, Omana Namugamba. Na inga sinaba kulia. Mm. Sinaba kulia mazena kubiri siria. Mm. Atepu nunabumwa na mfa kukuba walie di chikumi ni mbu gula. Ateka tinabuwa ya gala buntu alako. Mm. Omu yae na amu stabbing. Ooh. To death. For buns. That's how dangerous. That's in the, the streets we were in. War. It was that bad. So. Ngalwo kesa. Luwebaliza mukama. It was crazy. It was crazy. Nzeke nyini nyini. E chance jaku street. Uh, like two weeks before, and this is uh, uh, time ya Wembley. We are in now the early two, Wembley, 2001. Wembley, mm. yeah. And there was a time abantu bali batani so kufenyo because of the streets. Mm. I, I remember two weeks before one army man kuchano street out mm. was beaten Neba muta, neba tuwale motoka, na bulishintu cheyaina. Mm. So I think because of that, and then the rampant killings and, 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 and stealings that were robberies. And that the were petty going crime on. around. Ex yeah. Exactly. So I think uh, security agencies decided to get rid of everybody on of, the street. Of the, of the street kids then. Yeah. Then mwari muna farato, becharia, innocently. Mm. We were sleeping at about 5 a.m. in the morning with five of my friends, and I woke up to gunshots. Mm. And when I got up, I woke up in a pool of blood, and they were all shot dead. I don't know how I survived that day. I can't know. I woke up, and I was running towards Ruja. Mm. I was running towards that side. Bullets flying everywhere. And that was my last day on the streets, actually. That's when I went and sought refuge in church. I never went, even went to church to get saved, mm. or to find Christ or yeah. anything like that. Yeah. I was yeah. looking for shelter. Wow. <laughs> then Katonda Yena And that's how I start music. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Um, I have a lot of questions. I know. I have a lot of questions. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you wake up and everyone else next to you dead. is dead. Dead in a for, pool of blood. For six years you you were on the street. The, your father never tried to reach out to you to look for you? No. Atenange no. Kenyini when I left his house, I vowed to never go back. Me, there was a point in life I had developed so much hate for my father, for everything that had happened to me as a child. Ngabuonte ke mundu mungaru. 
nsobolo muno nyane mukuba amasasi you understand yeah. it was that bad and nange kenyini had vowed never ever to look for him or go back to his house this man is still alive as we speak no 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 he passed on he passed on uh, yes. five he passed on six years ago oh, may yeah. god rest his soul in peace i yeah. loved i loved Oh man, the last years I had with him one and a half years, I mm. got to know who he was, mm. the reasons he grew up, the way he grew up. Mm. It even brought tears in my eyes. Yagendo kumfa akonga mwagala ate nyonyo. Back to the streets. <laughs> what what is that one thing that you did that you'll never forget on the streets? Damn. Yeah. Anyway, so the past it happened. Mm. So I was uh, walking from Olaba uh, bine bitala bya Entebbe Road waguru eri waguru seno wansi waguru so I was walking from up there ngamva kubaka sawu ka mukazi ne nzi jamwe simu mwali mune mitwaro nkaga mumunana mwenkumi bidi Mm. <laughs> I remember since that kwera bila. So as I was walking down Ojeno ngeno awali shop right once mm. eno. Mm. Ngatona tuka ku Queens Queens way. Yeah. So I meet one of uh, the big boys. Sawa <clears> mwenda <throat> ogwechiro. I first heard cries. Ngo mwala akaba. Kakati mukusembera nendo woza she's just they're just taking property from her you understand so i was like ah ya manyina you understand but ngendo ku kirilo tuka ngagaya kubyo omuwala bobinyo amujje ko buli china and ayagala mu rapping so when i got i knew him you know i knew him ne mugamba actually bam bama sasi mu time ya wembley yo ya fidela ne mugamba mwana Chia icho yagalo kola mwana ngasi kirungi Omazo mmoja ko buli cho mmoja ko ngandi kato mmoja ko buli cho mmoja kate kacho yagala uja chicho yagalo kola si kirungi wali baddo kola chi omuleka got turned and punched me in the face mm. bad mm. <laughs> naga dogo ne mira mira kunja kutta nawe ah, so i let him continue but i was walking as i was walking away something in my heart just couldn't let me go you understand I got two big stones. I came back. Nga mwambude is forcing himself on her. I remember I hit him with both stones. Na gweri. I helped the girl. Ntumujako bi yali ayina gai bi yali amujeko ne mbimuwa na duka na agenda ye in shock. Kati atena ngao gasagalo nazo kuke ngo chali wo ngachali wo mm. kubaya ali mukuru oh yeah ngasobola okunzita oh yeah you understand mm. zinda mukuba mainja just agweli ave kuchi kumuwala mm. uh, that's one thing i ca- <laughs> I, i can never never forget oh yeah that one and uh, the pool of blood mm. incident mm. yeah those two i can never forget never Now you you go to church. Yeah. At what age now? Because uh, this is about uh this is about fif- around I think around 15 mm. around 15 years, 15 mm. 16 over. Mm. Around 15, 16. Those yeah. 16 17 now. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Cuz uh yeah it was about that time. Mm. So uh when Navaku street uh twaina guy, twaina abalongo bali ku street nabo era bambi nabo baba kuba masasi mu time ya wembre wow 2001 mm. abo bonna balaba ko cause twali mu rehearsal mm. ku church mm. then erubagao then chiboda chili echi erubaga mm. e eh, ode ku kabaka njaga lewa yes, yes. wali wawe chisiko we hear gunshots and then esasi eri kutemwe nyamo oli wulira oh, <laughs> yeah. gari manji so ne tufuruma tugendo furuma nga baba kubya masasi ngamba manyi ngamba manyi katone waso mm na kula nabo nali nabo ku street nga chali mwana mto wow so uh <coughs> bwenva ku street era waliwo gaya abali abakuru nanga mwana gwe kalubega embera ya embera ye bali tabuse mm embera ye bali tabuse te bacha kwa tabukwasi watu ya buli ochitegera mm. e, na ye mpulira ulide yo wali abasumba abayamba yamba abana mwana 
Singo ba dovo sovola. Mm. No gende yo no funo wiyambi. Kuba go chad mwana mutu. Oru yeah. kudotu to gende do sovola. Mm. So that's how I live. And uh, I go, I first, uh, I first uh, went to Nakurabye. Mm. Uh, wali wo gayo mobali wa mitachimuli. Mm. Ye ya soko kuva ku street. Like uh, a week before these incidents. Yeah. Ye ya liya afudeko. Sene ngende Nakurabye. Ngando uzanja mosanga, saa mosanga. Saa mosanga, ngantia o oh, kudayo kurugudo. Mm. Atenga sina wenzira. There was a border between uh, Nakulavye and Bulange. Mm. Waliwe chisiko chinene. Nenso kansula mchisiko o oh, munga mwensula. <laughs> For like three weeks. Uh, one time, mba andiyo mwechiro. Saa wazari nganga kumi. It started as a dream. Mm. I, I, in the dream, it was like an animal was coming to me, mm. towards me. Yeah. And then I woke up. Then mukuzuku kana zuka ndu ya nyinyo 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 nyinyo. But then when I woke up, ngendo ukuraba, just across, like camera where you are. The challenge to our is like a cathicket, a cathic yes, bush. Yes, yes, Nga, I see two red eyes. Mm. They were constantly looking at me, very still. I didn't know what it was, mm. but not yeah. And that thing was there for about 30 seconds. Mm. And then after 30 seconds, it walked away. Mm. That was my last day. Mweche chibida. Mweche chibida. Chibida. Chisiko. Yeah. Chali chisiko. Ticket, yeah. Buenva wao, wali wo gai, mochiyaye, yali atu ndamputa. Oregulo, yeah, maka yeah. sawa, nga musambu, monano uguwe chilo. Mm. Kati nga wavao, nga nteka, aka, na ina, aka, aka, aka katen. Mm. Naka jeyo mwawino. Nga nkala wo, wansi mchidala, mm. nga mwene waka. Yeah. Kati one time, biyari binku bie nyondo oza. Oh. Nebucho msana neguvayo. Wadio kubwa mno kubwa. Na ina ni kubwa. I feel like, bro, how would you live on the streets nga to kubwa? Because remember, when we used to go and steal, mm. it was you, you didn't even know over or gain that could over need that. So we would go high. How you know what? What, what, what substances were you using? Uh, that you me, I thank God. Mm. I, I, I only did alcohol and marijuana. Mm. I feared the other stuff. Yeah, we the, yeah. Because Nalaba and Gabaya in Gabagwe Daru. Nengiza ako nyo 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 biye wala. Yeah. Nadala omugo, there's that brown sugar. Mbako sangi. Ngaba ya iba vako ba vida kodala. Yeah. Sonze nesala une mbiye wala. Mm. Na kosi sanga weed mm. and alcohol. Yeah. So, ngaba tu batu gendo kubo ino genda ango vudeko. Ngo tadeko ngo madidi de. Aha. Mm. Urusi batu kwa tanga ni vako kuba. Ziba kuba kone vansura ni mwala. Ngaba nye mfundi. Uru wali yo mbiye chile vako ba. Simu. Mupaka. Wow. Mwale taxi park. Yeah. That <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you, you couldn't be sober. You yeah. couldn't be sober. You couldn't. You had to put on something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So got your vamuch sketch. In vamuch siko, ntandu koksula, mumadala gwa guy. Gwem, One time, yeah. those are nalimu for about two weeks. One time, time name pitako. Ne wucha. Avantu around ngateva many. Avantu omu ya tandika. Oh na laika mu bion. Oh no mu bi eh. Badi banzi, badi banzi se. Badi banzi se. Kati, wali wamo kazi ya ina kato nini lake mm. chidawe na kumpi no yu gai. Yeah. Ngorusi, ngenda, eh, ni mwesa waka mede na ampa. Ye ya bagamba, ah, uyo mwana bambi mwumanyi. Mm. Na ina mutawana, ni badi banzi, eh, badi banzi se. Yeah. Badi banzi se. Kakati, au wena vane nga, mm, mm, na kula vio, si jamu se. Agani, mm. Nengenda, it was a Sunday. Yeah. Nengenda, kumirako center. 
irubaga yes uh uh <coughs> when i yingira chat nali fana na bubi nyo 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 i looked really really bad i looked like a thief mm. or a mad, a mad boy mm. so i enter church on this sunday and everybody was so welcoming to you yes mm. to everybody not to just everybody me, everybody me. that came to church i i i felt something i had never felt before my whole life so that alone pulled me in i was like sivawan there was a choir that uh, sang nimbe gomba nyu 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 mm. mm. there, there was about 150 of them yeah. on the stage ngaba na burunji asina burunji ayimba burunji they were so amazing yeah. you understand kakati service we gwa one of the ushers ne mubuza munangenze bade mbere na kulabye na ye embera sinunji ate batuge church babako na abantu egeje baso baya ba nyonya wa kusula ngabwe buzibu wa kusula chala nangamba ah hawa no church tekija soka na ye maskwa yo jimanyi konza a tiri kwa ya bayimbe olimba bruno bade bamba de bweba chimuka ye nanga kakati aba abantu church ebapangi size nyumba mm. eh probably bobo solo gena no yogera ko yeah. ne leader wawe yeah. you never know you could get help eh hey. na mpaka twa era ebamala bali batudenga ku canteen yao they were discussing as a choir so i step in nibanda ga choir leader nengenda ne mulaba ne muganze gwolaba ndi muyimbi nenga to yimbanga nako yeah She looked at me doza <coughs> mundana chitegera mulimba yeah. but I don't know God yeah. works miracles yeah. she she did not te, te, she didn't say no wow. she, she only asked me one question obado yimbira wa nemuga abade nyimba mu bandi bade nyimba bandi nze nyimba bandi jensanga je nyimba yeah nika tinjagala kuyimbira katonda my target was shelter So she was like, "Ah, okay, no problem." Nebandeka, then joining a choir and yes. introduced me. Mm. I looked so bad. So bad to the point Did that evening in at the house they were doing rehearsals. Na gamba abana bansondere engoye anya ina yokukurugwe engoye zibata kozesa. The sati bichibizo. Eh. Punya nganda bikabubi. Ne bampa pawa okukugoye ne mbera mu choir. Kakati two weeks down the road. Yeah. <laughs> she realizes i couldn't sing yeah na ye me i was smart mm. from when i was young from six years me i was a gymnast mm. oh yeah, yeah yeah so when i came to church that first week they did a song by Kirk franklin mm. it was a very groovy song mm. i came in the front and i started flipping i started flipping and the crowd got so excited mm-hmm. you, you understand so after that Then the following week as well I did the same thing. Because of that she left me in the choir. Mm. Because she, of the summer salt yes, and she left yes. me in the choir. But then in the choir still I was like a black sheep, you know, you come off the street. Yes, you yes, know, yes. You know everybody looks at you like a threat. You understand? Kati ya ongero cha koze samu ko you had withdrawn from. Nenga te bama yongo kuba nga nzikirire yo wansi mu kisenyi mbaya yebange. Nebampa 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 weed business jane mukweka kati echiro chire yonga buli omuyebase no kuma twasulanga like in an open space where twala twalawo bayalanga ome paliso nga wetu wetu sura so nze nga mfuruma stealthily nga ngenda behind the house nga come on <laughs> It is the deep talk we are still with Exodus and boze chatting engineer we haven't reached the part where he is called Exodus where he turns from being George to now Exodus yeah. and we're going to get into that after the break to what is the deep talk leave your comments in the comment section the deep talk with Mr Henry 